the day begin Starting from scratch all over again There was nowhere else that I would rather be I got everything that any man could need Cause I'm a part of the family I'm in the heart of the family I'm the one that started the family I'm a part of the family I'm in the heart of the family I'm the one that started the family The only one to blame Giving her birth control pills? Sure, I got them from the doctor. I said they were for me. <laughs> you birth control pills? She needs them. There's this mongrel dog one floor down. He keeps climbing the drain pipe to get to Fifi. <laughs> the doctor gave you these, Mrs. Bloom. You're 79 years old. 80. And let me tell you something. I got me a toy boy, 65, and he's hot stuff. <laughs> Well, still no, these are for women. Suddenly I'm a wooden Indian? <laughs> no, no, not at all. No more pills, all right? Here you are. I'll uh, give her a series of shots when she's in season. Betty, you should shoot the mongrel one floor down. <laughs> you still need a urine sample? Uh, can you get her to fill this? <laughs> what, from here? No, no, no. Just uh, take this home with you, all right? Here you go. Oh, Rose, uh, Mrs. Bloom is going to be bringing in a urine sample. Whoopee, it's a thrill a minute in this job. <laughs> oh, I got to forgive Rose, she's not herself today. Well, whoever she is, it's got to be an improvement. <laughs> I like you too. Ah, uh, goodbye, Mrs. Bloom, goodbye, Fifi. <laughs> oh, birth control pills. Oh. Huh? Oh, I hate Monday. <sighs> Me too. They should move it to Friday, then ship Friday to the middle of the week, put Monday where Thursday is, then on Wednesday we could prepare ourselves for it. Why does that make sense? Oh, you got one phone message from Boston. I don't know anybody in Boston. Oh, it's the guy's name. He's a lawyer. He wants to see you at 12 o'clock. <laughs> a lawyer? Yeah, isn't he the guy who handled your divorce from Speak of the Devil, Helen? <laughs> Hiya, James. How are you, love? Mm. Hiya, Rose. Guess what we've been shopping for? Drapes. <laughs> How did you guess? Well, this stuff in the bag, Dad, was a clue. Uh, how are you doing, Frank? Jamie, who needs drapes? We're on the 14th floor. Who's gonna look in? Spider-Man? <laughs> you know, Frank, you're no fun to go shopping with. He keeps making his mind up. Look, I'm gonna duck the stuff into the apartment, okay? Then I'm gonna go for a drink. What kind of drink? I don't know. Well, maybe I should go with you, help you choose. Well, forget it. We'll be there all day. Try a scotch. No, it doesn't go with the carpet. Well, how about a beer? Well, it does go with the cushions. How about a vodka? <laughs> Hold it, Stumple. Oh, no, no, no. You made that up. There's no way that's a word. You think I'm stupid or something? That's in the dictionary. I'll do the laundry for a week. Stumple. <laughs> <laughs> no star to my tennis outfit. <laughs> it's not fair. You're older than me. You've had time to learn more words. Good afternoon, Boston. I have an appointment to see Dr. Shepard. Shouldn't you have a dog or something with you? Is it compulsory? Well, most people do. I'll get him. You want to finish my game? Oh, sure. I love word games. Hi. Hello, Boston. P-H-D-I-A-F-C-A. That's a weird way to spell Boston. Uh, stumpful. <laughs> What's a stumpful? There's no such word. You want to bet? You're on, young lady. <laughs> so how's your new condo coming along? Oh, it's just going to be great. And I'll be able to see the kids every day. I've got a room they can come and sleep over. Mm, kids would like that. Yeah. Have you and Frank ever thought of having a baby? <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> when did that stop? <laughs> anyway, Frank, 
Frank says it would ruin his figure. He doesn't fancy juggling a loaded diaper at his age. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. There's my sweetie. Come here. Let me look at you. You cut yourself. Ah, it's nothing. It's just a razor, Nick. <laughs> There's a Mr. Boston wants to see you. He's shaving? For the last year. Regularly? You say that. Mind you, he cut himself both times. <laughs> One. Two. He'll be right with you. Three. Four. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Five. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Ah, uh, Mr. Boston. Yes, I'm from Boston, Boston, Sedgwick, and Boston. We handled your divorce. Oh, I remember. Mr. Boston, you look fabulous. You've been on a diet. You look 20 years younger. I am. It was my father who handled your divorce. <laughs> That's right, that's right. His hair was gray, and he seemed a bit uh, vague. Oh, vague. The very word. You hit the nail right in the head there. Yes, vague. Oh, boy. He 